guys, it's Heather again, the Butterfly Effect Plant-Based Extreme Weight Loss with another delicious plant-based recipe for you. How about some jackfruit tacos? Now, if you've never tried jackfruit before, it is kind of a magical thing. This is what, how it comes. This is jackfruit, and you can see the picture of the huge jackfruit on the front of the can, okay? When jackfruit is ripe, it tastes sweet like any normal fruit. But the smart people where jackfruit grows, I don't know who figured this out, figured out that if you pick it while it's green and you can it in brine, like they have done here, that jackfruit has a really incredible texture and taste that's a lot like chicken. And obviously, it has no meat in it. It's a completely vegetarian, vegan source of food. But it's a really fun way to make things that you, we used to make, like tacos, um, with a little bit of a chew, like that of a, um, of a chicken tasting thing. So I'm going to show you how to make jackfruit tacos. And it's really simple. Here's all you need. The first thing you need is the can of jackfruit, right? You want the young green jackfruit in brine. And you can find these at Asian grocery stores sometimes, or you can always order it off of Amazon, and I'll put the link um, down below. So what I did with this jackfruit is I opened the can and I drained it really well before I got on the camera. And I'm just gonna dump it right into a plastic bag because we're gonna marinate this, okay? In some taco sauce. And then to make the marinade, I'm gonna use a magic bullet blender because it's the right size. And the first thing I wanna add is, I have five dates that I have um, put some boiling water over. So that's a half a cup of boiling water and five medjool dates and I'm gonna dump that in. We don't usually think about tacos as being sweet, but they do actually have a little bit of um, sweet taste and commercial taco seasoning, so we're gonna duplicate that. And this is also gonna be sticky, and so it's gonna make the marinade stick to my jackfruit, okay? To the, um, to the dates in the in um, Magic Bullet, I'm going to be adding some chili powder. Now this is some chili powder I got at the grocery store because it's a little bit more mild. I often will use this Chipotle one, and I'll put a few sprinkles of that, but that's quite a bit spicier. And I'm making this for people that maybe don't like as much spice. So um, I'm going to use this more mild chili powder. Let's see if I can get it open. Had to cheat and use my teeth. Nobody saw that, right? Okay. So I'm to my um, to my magic bullet. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this mild chili powder. So there's about one tablespoon, two tablespoons. There we go. Okay. And to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder. I accidentally grabbed the tablespoon, so to put in only one teaspoon, I'm gonna just fill it a third of the way because there's three teaspoons in a tablespoon. So let me do that, put that in. Okay, then we need some onion powder. This is granulated onion, which is basically the same thing, and that's going in. Let's move this back so you can see it. There we go. Putting that in, some granulated onion. A teaspoon of that, okay. Then I want some cumin, some ground cumin. And we want about a teaspoon of that. There we go, put that in. And then we're going to add just a little bit of that Chipotle to give it a, just a little bit of heat. Not a lot of heat, just a little bit. Okay, 
If you like salt, you could certainly add salt at this point. The last thing I'm going to add is just a little bit of oregano. And so this is just some herbs that I've dried myself. And I'm going to add about a good strong teaspoon of that. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put the blade on my magic bullet. And turn it upside down. Get that a good blend. Okay, that did not take long at all, and you can see it looks really terrible. <laughs> but this is going to be the marinade for our jackfruit. So I've got my bag of jackfruit, and I'm going to put the marinade right, I'll just put it up here so you can see it. Dump the marinade on there, and then you want to really coat all of that jackfruit with the marinade. So let me get it off the lid there. It's going to kind of stick to the blades because of that, um, because of that date being sticky. We want the date to be sticky so that it'll get all over everything. Okay, so it does not look that pretty right now, but it's going to taste really good. Mmm, it smells super good. I wish that videos came with smell. Okay. So, after you've gotten your marinade in there, you just want to kind of squish it up in your hands and make sure it gets over all that jackfruit. Okay? Let it just get all in there. All right. And we're going to marinate this you can, really, the best way would be if I marinated it overnight. And you would do that in the fridge, of course. But um, I'm going to just marinate it in a quick marinade and do it on the counter for about two hours. So I'm going to let this guy marinate, and I'll be back to show you how we can make our jackfruit tacos. Come on back. All right, it's been a couple hours since my jackfruit started marinating when our wonderful marinade that we made. And I have to tell you that off camera, I decided that I wanted a little bit more jackfruit than what came in the can. So I added another can of jackfruit. So I'll make that reflect that in the recipe and the ingredients down in the description. But just to let you know, I put in two cans of jackfruit and I had plenty of marinade to make that work, okay? And I've been kind of squishing it. You want to squish it in between your fingers to kind of smash it to get it to be more like a shredded chicken. So I've been just kind of massaging it and doing that. So I'm gonna set this on the counter and I'm gonna start with the next step. And that is that I have a big nonstick pan. You guys know that I don't use any oil and so we're gonna water saute some onions and some peppers to go along with our jackfruit tacos. So in this container I have some chopped onion and I'm going to put right about a cup of chopped onion in. So one cup or one, I think that equals about like one medium onion. And then I have these beautiful yellow peppers that my, these are yellow bell peppers that my neighbor gave me from his garden. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. You could definitely use red pepper or green pep green bell pepper, whatever you like best, okay? And so I'm going to put my um, burner on high, and I did something kind of cool, and I want to show you. Remember when I made the marinade, I used the Magic Bullet Blender? What I did was there was still a lot of the marinade stuck in, you know, after I... Um, put it into the bag. There was still some in the container and I needed to clean the container and so I poured some purified water into the Magic Bullet container and I blended it a little bit to get all of the residue of that delicious marinade into my Magic Bullet blender into the water and now I'm going to use that water to water saute our veggies, um, our onions and our peppers and we'll get those going and then we'll add in our jackfruit and finish making our tacos. So I'll be back in just a minute when the um, onions and peppers are cooked. 
So sit tight because we're going to have tacos tonight. All right, I'm back and our peppers and onions have been cooking for about, oh, 15 minutes or so. And most of the water that I used to water saute them has been absorbed, okay, and has cooked off. And remember, um, that worked so well using the leftover marinade that was in the Nutribullet, you know, mixing that with water and using it. Now I'm ready to add my jackfruit to the pan. Okay, I'm just dumping the bag that had the jackfruit in the marinade. And I have to say that worked perfectly having the date um, ground up in there because it's really helping it to stick to the jackfruit. And now I'm going to mix that all through until it gets hot. I'm going to turn down the heat because it's already heating right up. They smell so good, you guys. I wish, I wish so much that I had smell on my videos so that you guys could smell this. But let's have you take a look with your eyes, okay? What do you think of that? Let's see if we can get a good angle. Got the jackfruit in there with the marinade on it and the onions and the peppers all getting stirred up. And doesn't that look like chicken? You know, I'm not pro eating chicken, but man, does that look like a nice meaty meal, you know? Nobody, I think if you didn't tell someone, they wouldn't even know. Okay, let me put you back over here. Hang on just a sec. Okay, there we go. All right, now I wanna show you how I'm going to serve it up. Now I don't usually like to eat, um, I don't eat gluten and a lot of times I don't like to eat um, you know a corn tortilla or anything like that just because it's more processed food. These would be delicious in a corn tortilla or even in a flour tortilla with all your favorite fixings. Put some lettuce and tomato and, and things on top. But what I'm going to do, let me show you how I want to, how I want to do it. I have this bag of hearts of romaine, some organic hearts of romaine that I got from the store, and I peeled off one of the leaves. And now I'm gonna fill my taco right into my romaine leaf. See that? So that becomes like your taco shell, and it's like, you know, usually I put lettuce on tacos. Well, the lettuce is right there included in it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of salsa on top. I could put a little bit of beans or something, um, some other vegetables with this. Um, I'm gonna definitely put some of my fresh tomatoes from my garden on top. And then this is gonna be my dinner and it's really, really good. It's really hot right now. That's why I'm not taking a bite. Let me see if I can take a little bite. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. I so wish you could taste this. That jackfruit has such a delicious taste. It's like perfectly marinated. It's sweet, just very slightly, slightly sweet and spicy. And it just tastes like really good Mexican food. So I hope that you'll try this. Get some jackfruit, try some jackfruit tacos and uh, try the little romaine, um, taco shells too because it's a really fun way to eat any kind of food um, that you usually have a sandwich or a piece of bread or a tortilla for you can put it in a romaine taco shell all right you guys bon appetit i'm gonna wait for this to cool and have this for dinner and i hope you have a wonderful meal and keep it plant-based until next time